dear students please note down the pdf file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture please download your notes in today's lecture we will discuss ultra structure of myofilaments as we know the myofilaments are of two types thick myofilaments and thin myofilaments first of all we will discuss thick myofilament these thick myofilaments are mainly composed of myosin proteins and the myosin protein constitute about 55% of muscle proteins each myosin protein this is the structure of myosin protein it consists of six polypeptide chains out of these six polypeptide chains two polypeptide chains are heavy chains and four polypeptide chains are light chains one free end of each heavy polypeptide chain produce globular heads it means each myosin protein having two myosin heads on both sides of these heads a pair of light chains are arranged this myosin protein it is digested by an enzyme that is trypsin enzyme this trypsin enzyme it converts this myosin protein into two units this lower part is it is lmm it is light myosin and this upper part it is hmm heavy myosin this HMM is further divided into two parts. This is subfragment number one, S1, and this is HMM segment number two. This, this particular part, S1, having a pair of myosin heads and four light chains, while this lower part. It is fibrous having a double stranded helix it is road shaped this particular this globular part segment number one it involves in the formation of cross bridges which interact with actin molecule at, th at the time of muscle contraction to produce ectomyosin bundles as well as this globular structure this globular segment one it contains atpas enzyme and it possesses active sites for the binding of actin thin myofilaments the thin myofilaments are made up of three types of proteins dear students Thick myofilaments are made up of mainly composed of myosin proteins, but thin myofilaments are composed of three types of proteins actin protein, tropomyosin proteins, and third one is that is troponin. This actin protein it further divided into two forms one is g actin and second is f actin g it is globular form it means the g actins are monomeric forms in which simple globular units are there which are monomeric but in this f actin it is fibrous actin these simple monomeric units undergo polymerization and these monomeric units which undergo polymerization to produce an elongated fiber so it is f actin g actin the simple units the globular units monomeric units but in this f actin the globular units undergo polymerization to produce an elongated fiber so it is f actin fibrous actin 
ट्रोपोमाइसिन एट दिस ट्रोपोमाइसिन इट इज ए डबल स्टैंडर्ड एल्फा हेल एक्स एंड दीज ट्रोपोमाइसिन प्रोटीन्स विच रिमेन ऑन द टॉप ऑफ एफ एक्टी ड्यूरिंग मसल रिलैक्सेशन बट डियर स्टूडेंट्स नोट डाउन एट द टाइम ऑफ मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन दीज ट्रोपोमाइसिन दीज ट्रोपोमाइसिन एंटर इन द एक्टिव ग्रूज ऑफ एफेक्टिन दियर स्टूडेंट्स एक्टिन मायोफिलामेंट्स एंड दीज एक्टिन प्रोटीन्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स जी एक्टिन ग्लोबुलर एक्टिन सिंपल मोनोमेरिक यूनिट्स एंड दीज मोनोमेरिक यूनिट्स अंडर गो पोलिमराइजेशन टू प्रोड्यूस एन इलॉगेटेड फाइब्रस एफेक्टिन द ट्रोपोमायोसिन these proteins are double stranded alpha helical structures and these tropomyosin remain on the top of this f actin fibrous actin in normal conditions when muscles are relaxed but at the at the time of muscle contraction these tropomyosin enter in the active grooves of f actin third protein that is troponin and each troponin having one two three polypeptide chains troponin c troponin i and troponin t it means these three polypeptide chains of troponin produce a complex that is troponin complex troponin c dear students troponin c it has a strong affinity to bind calcium ions because in muscle contraction calcium ions play an important role in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss role of calcium ions in muscle contraction this troponin i i for inhibition means this troponin i this polypeptide chain inhibits the interaction of actin and myosin proteins in normal conditions and this third polypeptide chain it is troponin t troponin t it means the troponin t it binds the tropomyosin at the time of muscle contraction so that these tropomyosin enter in the deep grooves in the active grooves of f actin dear students this is all about ultra structure myofibrillar proteins of thin and thick myofilaments thick myofilaments are made up of myosin proteins each myosin protein having six polypeptide chains two are heavy chains and four light chains one free end of each heavy chain produce globular head on both sides of these heads a pair of light chains are arranged this myosin protein is digested by this trypsin molecule as a result this trypsin converts this myosin into two fragments this lower part is light myosin and this upper part is heavy myosin this heavy myosin it has two sub fragments this upper globular parts with light chains it is sub fragment number 1 s1 it possesses atph enzyme active sites for actin proteins as well as this head region it produce cross bridges which involve in the interaction of actin and myosin filaments at the, at the time of muscle contraction in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss the role of cross bridges the role of calcium ions the thin myofilaments having three types of proteins 
एक्टिंग्स ट्रोपोमायोसी एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स ट्रोपोनी एक्टिन प्रोटीन्स आर टू फॉर्म्स हैविंग टू फॉर्म्स वन इज जी एक्टिन मीन्स ग्लोबुलर एक्टिन दीज आर मोनोमेरिक यूनिट्स सिंपल यूनिट्स एंड दीज मोनोमेरिक यूनिट्स जी एक्टिन अंडर गो पॉलिमराइजेशन दीज जी यूनिट्स आर इंटरलिंक्ड टू प्रोड्यूस एन इलांगेटेड फाइब्रस एक्टिन दैट इज एफ एक्टिन फाइब्रस एक्टिन ट्रोपोमायोसिन दीज ट्रोपोमायोसिन आर डबल स्टैंडर्ड एल्फा हेलिक्स दीज ट्रोपोमायोसी रिमेन ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दिस एफ एक्टिन फाइब्रस एक्टिन इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन बट डियर स्टूडेंट्स एट द टाइम ऑफ मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन दीज ट्रोपोमायोसी डबल स्टैंडर्ड हेलिसिस विच एंटर in the active grooves of f acting 